6 p.m. एम असलम दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज एड बाई मरियम खान फिर हेडलाइन लाहौर हाईकोर्ट हैज डायरेक्टेड टू रिमूव द नेम ऑफ फॉर्मर प्राइम मिनिस्टर नवाज शरीफ फ्राम एग्जिट कंट्रोल लिस्ट अनकंडीशनली फॉर फोर वीक्स फॉर हिज मेडिकल ट्रीटमेंट अब्रॉड Advisory to Prime Minister on Finances incentives are being provided to industrialists and exporters to improve the national economy. <music> President says Modi regime cannot suppress Kashmiris just struggle of right to self determination through brute force and India's internal turmoil will eventually lead to its destruction. <music> Pakistan welcoming public hearing of Tom Lentz Human Rights Commission of the US Congress on Kashmir situation has said that these deliberations have reinforced internationally recognized disputed nature of Jammu and Kashmir and the humanitarian crisis there Foreign Office spokesperson says no Pakistani is stranded at Mauritanian capital Nouakchott Turkey says it brought S400 missile defense systems from Russia to use them not to put them aside. Pak Army secured fifth position with 380 medals in the national games with the concluded in Peshawar today. And now the news in detail. Lahore High Court has directed to remove the name of former Prime Minister Muhammad Nawaz Sharif unconditionally from exit control list for 4 weeks for his treatment abroad. A two member bench of LHC headed by Justice Ali Bakar Najafi gave the verdict after hearing the petition on the matter. The court rejected the condition of intimacy bond to be submitted by Nawaz Sharif. MLN President Shahbaz Sharif had filed a petition in the LHC seeking removal of Nawaz's name from no-fly list. The petition also asked that the court declare the condition from intimacy bonds as illegal. Advisor to Prime Minister on Finance Hafiz Sheikh has said that the government is giving subsidies to the industrialists and exporters to improve the economy. Addressing a ceremony of overseas investors at Chamber of Commerce and Industry in Karachi today, he said international monetary funds has also expressed confidence on the economic reforms agenda of the government. The advisor said that the tax system has improved as a result of reforms being introduced in the FPR. He said difficult economic situation have been overcome. President Dr Arif Alvi says Pakistan fully stands with their Kashmiri brethren and will continue its moral diplomatic and political support to them addressing a seminar on human rights in occupied Kashmir in Karachi this afternoon he said worst human rights atrocities are being committed by the occupation authorities in occupied Kashmir he said india cannot suppress the kashmiris just struggle of right to self determination through brute affairs throwing light on the worst form of racial discrimination engulfing india the president said that the internal turmoil in that country will eventually lead to destruction he said minorities in the neighboring country are under fear of persecution by the dominant majority of hindus he referred to recent verdict of indian supreme court on babri mosque which was demolished by hindu bigods in 1992 Pakistan has welcomed the public hearing of Tom Lentz's Human Rights Commission of the US Congress on the Human Rights Situation in Indian Occupied Kashmir. In a statement today, Foreign Office spokesperson Dr. Muhammad Faisal said that the deliberation of the commission reinforced internationally recognized disputed nature of Jammu and Kashmir and highlighted the gross human rights violation and the humanitarian crisis there. Dr Mohammad Faisal said that the latest hearing in the Lantis Commission in another illustration of the world community's serious concern over the unacceptable situation in occupied Kashmir and the need to address it urgently. They also expressed their concern that persecution of the religious minorities in India especially the manifested in the form of anti conversion legislation Babri Masjid verdict national registration of citizens in Assam as well as mob violence and lynching were fostering a growing sense of fear among the minorities in India 
Dr. Mohammed Faisal said that the Indian regime must end its illegal occupation of occupied Kashmir, stop its state terrorism, and allow the exercise of right to self-determination to Kashmiri people as stipulated by the United Nations Security Council resolutions. This is Radio Pakistan giving you the news. Pakistan has welcomed a unanimously passed resolution of a UN General Assembly's third committee calling for promotion and protection of human rights of persons belonging to minorities. Second Secretary at the Pakistan Mission to the UN, Qasim Aziz, in his remarks drew the international community's attention towards the plight of Muslims in India who are facing an existential threat due to the ruling BJP's anti-minorities pilot policies. He said the current human rights and humanitarian crisis in occupied Kashmir could lead to forced displacement of its Muslim population and render them stateless. Qasim Aziz, who also warned the committee that the Islamic heritage in India is being wiped out in pursuance of ruling BJP party's Hindutva ideology. In occupied Kashmir, the increasing chill after the fresh rains and snowfall has added to miseries of a people of Kashmir Rally who have been already been suffering immensely due to strict military siege since 5th of August. Due to continued lockdown, people have more difficulties to face in the coming days as they have not been able to stock essential commodities for the harsh winter as the only surface link of territory remain closed for months. The situation in Kashmir Valley and Muslim-majority areas of Jammu and Ladakh region was far from the normal 404th consecutive day today. The leaders of Sikh community have thanked Prime Minister Imran Khan for opening the Kartapur Corridor. Addressing a joint prince a conference in Lahore today, Speaker World Sikh Community Joga Singh, Uttar Singh, J.V. Singh from UK and Davinder Singh from France said that a negative propaganda is being waged in India against the Kartapur Corridor. They said Sikh community is giving more facilities in Pakistan as compared with India. The leader said they want to make it very clear to the people of India and especially to the Indian Punjab that Pakistan is a safe place for Sikh. The Sikh leaders condemned the atrocities of Indian forces against the innocent people in occupied Kashmir. Foreign Office spokesperson Dr. Mohammed Faisal says no Pakistani is standard at Mauritanian capital Nokshot. In a sweet tweet, he said regarding media reports about some Pakistani standard at Nokshot Airport in Mauritania, it is clarified that they left for Istanbul this morning. He said Pakistan embassy in Algeria is close to contact with Mauritanian authorities. Turkey says it brought S-400 missiles a defense system from Russia to use them not to put them aside. This was stated by the head of Turkish Defense Industry Directorate Ismail the mere days after talks between President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and U.S. President Donald Trump. In Syria, 10 people were killed in a bomb blast in Al Bab town near the Turkish border today. Turkish state run Anna Dolu news agency says it is not immediately clear who had carried out the attack. UN Security Council has renewed for another year the partial lifting of arm embargo on Somalia. The 15-member council voted a 12 nil in a favor of Resolution 2498 that enabled the decision with China, Russia, Equatorial, Guinea, and abstaining. The 33rd edition of National Games concluded in Peshawar this evening. About 10,000 players in different disciplines across the country participated. Park Army secured a first position by winning 380 medals, including 150 gold, 134 silver, and 96 bronze. BAPTA stood second by having 320 medals, including 148 gold, 99 silver, and 73 bronze. Similarly, Park Railway got third position by clinching 104 medals, including 12 gold, 20 silver, and 73 bronze. And finally, the weather report. Rain, thunderstorm with the snowfall over mountains is expected at scattered places in Upper Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Girgit, Baltistan, Islamabad and Kashmir, while at isolated places in North Punjab during the next 24 hours. Dry weather is expected elsewhere in the country. 
And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk, and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com slash Radio Pakistan News Official.